Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so before I start, in the previous video, I think um, the second and third videos, I wasn't using the, the microphone th that I normally use for these videos. I was using the my inbuilt uh, Mac microphone. So the audio was a bit sharp. So if it bothered anyone, I'm sorry. But for this one, I have I've set it up back to the um, microphone that, that I, I use for these videos. So yeah, it's going to be a bit finer, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think a bit a bit better than the other ones. Okay, so the fourth program in chapter in chapter three is test scores and grade. Okay, so write a program that has variables to hold three test scores. So the program wants us to have variables to to hold three test scores. So basically, it's going to ask the users to enter three test scores, and the program should ask the user to um, okay to enter the test scores and then assign the values entered to the variables. Now the program should display the average of the test scores and, and the letter grade that is assigned for the test score average. So basically the program is going to start off by asking the user, user to enter three test scores, so score one, score two, and score three. And then we'll use the program to find the average of those test scores. And then based on the value of the average, we would display a message. So for example, if the average was uh, between 70 and 79 would say the average was let's say 75 and the grade was C so if the average of the test of the three test scores was let's say below 60 then the person ha would, would get an F so the program should calculate all that or figure out all that and be able to also be able to display it okay so let, let me go ahead and start oh sorry Okay, so I'll go ahead and create the class, and I'll call it test scores and grade, and I'll create the main method. Okay, so again, we are going to, I'm saying again because of the previous videos, we are going to receive inputs from the users. So we can, e we can either use the scanner or the J option pane. I'm going to use a scanner for this one. It's just, it's just a choice. I can use the J option pane, but I think I used it in the previous video. So, so I'm going to use the scanner class for this one. So to use the scanner, we need to import it and, and give this program access to the library so it can use the scanner class. So I'm going to import it by, by using java.util.scanner. And we need to create, um, we need to create um, a scanner object so that we can use it to accept input and be able to get that input. So I'm going to create a scanner object. I'm going to call it scanner. I'm going to use the system's main input device, which is going to accept byte info information. And we're going to use the scanners method, the, the, some uh, methods in the scanner class to be able to convert it to doubles or, um, or um, integers or w whatever we need for, the, for them. So now that we have the scanner object, we can go ahead and, and ask the user to enter the first score. And we do that with just system.out.print. I'm going to use print Ellen. I'm going to say, please enter the first score. And we're going to use a scanner to prompt for inputs. So I'm going to use scanner.next double because the, the score can be 67.5 or 68.2. It could be any score. It could be 99.5 or something. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to use a double, scanner.next double. And this is going to prompt a text box. The user is going to type in the, the value. It's going to store it 
in the keyboard, store the value in the keyboard buffer, and it's going to retrieve it, retrieve the next double from the keyboard buffer. But when it when it retrieves it, it's going to return, but there's nothing to receive that returned value. We need to store that value that the user typed in a variable. That value is going to be the first score. So we need a variable that's going to hold score one. Score one. I'm just going to say yeah, score one. So this this method is going to retrieve that first the first uh, the, that input that the user user just entered. So we're going to store that in score one like this. Okay. All right. So we're going to use the same method to get score two and score three. I'm just copying and pasting. And I'm going to change the values to please enter the second score. And I'm going to change change this to score two, which we haven't declared yet, but I'm going to go up here and declare it to two. Yeah. Double score two. And I'm going to change this to please enter the third score and change this to score three, which we haven't again declared, but I'm going to go up here and declare it. So now we have three variables, score one, score two, score three. We are asking the user to enter the first score. We are using the next double to prompt the text box. The user is going to type a value. It's going to store it in the keyboard buffer. And this same next double is going to retrieve that value and return it to score one. So it's going to be held in score one. Same thing for score two and score three. So after this code runs, we're going to have the values, all the scores in, in their variables. Now the program says we should we should um, display the average of the test scores. So we, we need to find the average. So average to find the average of these scores, it's basically the sum of all the, all the scores divided by the number of scores. So you add all these scores together, and then you divide by how many scores there are. There are three scores. So to find the average, it's going to be score one plus score two plus score three divided by okay let, let me let me just surround them with parentheses first the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to follow the order of operation I'm, I'm going to add other um, <coughs> operators to this and I want to follow follow the order, order of operations operation okay so we have score one score two and score three and we're going to add them all together and divide by the number of scores. There are three scores. Once we do this, this is basically going to calculate, um, it's going to calculate and find that it's going to find the average. But once we find the average with this formula here, we need to store it somewhere. We need to store it in, uh, in another, another variable that we haven't declared yet. We need a variable to store that. So I'm going to declare another variable called average and I'm going to store the value in average. So we would have average here. So basically basically I would have the average. Now the program said that it should display the average of the test scores and the and the letter grade and the letter grade that is assigned for the test score average. So now we need to run a test on this average value to, to first determine what value it is and based on that value you know, display uh, the, the letter grade, whether it's an A or a B or a C or an F, you know. So to do that, we need an if statement to check that. Actually, I'm going to use an if else if structure, and, and you see you see that. So I'm going to start the if statement in the structure. The, my Boolean expression, what goes over here, the con over here, my Boolean expression is going to be the average. Um, so so the first one, I'm, I'm going to start with below 60. Okay, so basically we're going to start, yeah, I'm going to start with below, below 60, and I'll explain why I do that. So I'm going to say that if average is less, sorry, if average is less than 60, so any number, or all the, for all the numbers less than 60, that, that means the person got an F. So if average is less than 60, then, then I want you. Then I want the program to system or dis display a grade of uh, uh, first display the average, 
and and display that the person got a, a, a grade of um, an F so I'm going to use print for now and later on we'll, we'll format it so I'm going to use print or I'll, I'll, I'll just do it right now I'm going to f format it with, with that I'm going to use a print F method and I'm going to display the average score uh, let me just say yeah the average score is and I'm going to use a, a format specify I'm going to use a, a percentage F which stands for uh, a float the F stands for a float basically because the um, the um, the double the average is a double and it's, in, it's a floating floating points number basically basically so I'm going to um, format it and basically I'm going to add what's going to go in place of this format specify is going to be the average so again you know th there's more to explain with all the with all these but I'm expecting that you understand um, some of these so that this is just trying to solve the question it's not necessarily trying to explain um, some of the concept of of, um, of, um, of Java it's just trying to solve the question so I'm expecting that some of these things you know so if it was I'm um, trying to teach Java then I then I would go over every single detail but um, uh, if, even though it's not um, teaching Java as a whole I'll be going over I'll be going through them and explaining you know some part of it so uh, yeah, I, I hope you know you know it's clear in in that way. Okay, so this average is going to replace the format specify f, and and later on we'll format it. Uh, but this is going to form, um, format uh, fl the float by default with six um, decimal places basically. Okay, so if the person had a um, score of, of less than sixty, then the average score is it's going to be the average which is going to replace this format specifier and I'm going to add that um, um, I'm just going to say that's a grade that's a grade A okay all right now if that's not the case else I'm going to add another if structure so that, that's why it's an if else if structure so I'm going to add another structure here so if average is less than 60 if it's not less than 60 okay let, 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 let me not confuse everyone okay so if average is less than 60 Go ahead and print this. You had an A, print the average. If average is not less than 60, that means that the value is either 60 or more. So the next Boolean expression I'm going to say is for the, for the numbers um, 60 or more, I don't want all the numbers 60 or more. I want the numbers 60 or more and, and numbers also less than, I'm sorry. 70. So basically w what I'm saying is this, if average is less than 60, print out this. If it's not less than 60, that means that it's 60 or more. And for all the numbers 60 or more, I want the ones that are less than 70. So that's going to leave me with 60 to 69 over here. And if that's the case, System prints the average and say it's a grade of oh I'm sorry I made a big mistake here over here it's a grade of an F rather yeah so print the average if it's less than 70 print the average and say that's a grade of that's a grade D so let me explain it's more it's more like eliminating numbers so if the average is less than 60 then that person had an F if it's not less than 60 then then that means the person got a 60 or more so we're going we're going up so for the for the for the number 60 or more I want the ones less than 70 so that means that you know it's going to leave me with 60 
to 69. And for 60 to 69 over here, we have a D. So the average score is going to be this format specifier. Um, the, the average is going to replace the format um, specifier. And the person is going to you know see the grade of a D. So I hope I hope you follow the if else structure over here. I'm going to copy this and repeat it for the next one. So the next one is going to be less than 80. It's going to be a grid of C, and, and let me explain that too. So first, let's say the person the person got um, a grade of 75. So it's going to test. Is average less than 60? 75 is not less than 60, so it's going to skip and come to else if is average less than 70. No, 75 is not less than 70, so it's going to skip this and come here. Else if is 75 less than 80, yes. So it's going to print out the average, and that's a grade C. Okay, so if it's not less than 70, that, that means that we have 70 or more. And for the number 70 or more, we want the ones less than 80. So, that, so that's going to leave us with 70 to 79 over here. That's going to be a grid of C. So I'm going to repeat it for the other ones too. And I, I hope I didn't confuse anyone. Okay, so the next one is going to be for less than 90. If it's not less, um, if it's, um, sorry, if it's not less than 80, then that, that, that leaves us with 80 and above. And for numbers 80 and above, we want the numbers less than 90. So that is, that's going to leave us with 80 to 89. And for that, it's going to display the average and a grade of a B. Okay, so I hope everyone understands. I hope. Okay, the next one is going to be if the average is not less than, well, ignore this, let me just delete this. If the average is not less than 90, then that means we have, then that means the average is 90 or more. Okay, if it's, if it's not less than 90, then that means the average is 90 or more. And we don't want all the numbers 90 and above. We want the numbers 90 or more, okay, but we also want the numbers 90 or more that are less, th less than or equal to 100. So any number that, that's more than 90 and less than or equal to 100, it's going to leave us with, sorry, any number that's 90 or more and also less than or equal to 100 and and within that range, basically. I hope you get it, right? So over here, let me let me not, I think I'm talking too much. Let me not confuse myself or and, and you guys too. So if average is less than 90, go ahead and do this. If the average is not less than 90, then that means we have 90, okay? That, that means the average is 90 or more, okay? So, and so for the, num for the numbers 90 or more, we want all the numbers 90 or more, but we also want you know, numbers that, that are less than or equal to 100, okay? And that's going to leave us with 90 to 100, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I really hope everyone understands the, the flow. Okay, so in that case, if it's 90 to 100, then the person got an A. And it's going to display the average. Okay, and then the last is going to be else. Else is when the average is, 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 is none of these, it falls, you know, it falls in, in none of these ranges, right? So if, if that's the case, then just go ahead and display a statement and just say, for example, system dot out dot print ln. It's going to be a regular print ln statement and say um, the average score is just going to do a concatenation with the average score. I'm going to concatenate it again with a regular string. I'm saying with an, I'm just going to put a, put a period and say, that's an invalid average. I 
typing is not the best. Sorry. Okay, so I know I talked too much over here, but I was just trying to explain so that everyone understands. I hope I didn't confuse anyone. I hope everyone understands it. And if if it's not if it's not too clear, please comment in the in the comment section, and I'll do my best to explain it to you. Okay, so else, if for example the average is let's say 101, it's going to display the average all right, but also it's going to say that the av average is invalid. Okay, so I think I think we're we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this and again I'm sorry for you know going through this too much I, you know I, you know if I confuse anyone I'm sorry but I was just trying to explain it so, so that everyone understands it and if I confuse anyone again please let me know in the comment section and I'll do everything to um, try to explain and make myself clear but I, but I hope that people understood it and it's clear okay all right so I'm going to compile it and I'm going to create another folder for uh, what's the name of this one? I think it's um, test scores and grade. If it's not, I'll just change the name later on. Okay, I'm going to save it here. Okay, so we didn't have any errors, so that's good. I'm going to run it. Okay, so it says, please enter the first score. I'm going to let, let's first start with a um, hundred. 100, 100. So we are going to expect, so with 100, 100, 100, we expect an A because w when you take 300, which is the sum of all three scores, divided by three, you get a, a 100. And the average is going to be 100. And if you get, if you got an, uh, if you got 100, then the grade is going to be an A. So let's, let's, let's test it and see. Okay, so it says the average score is 100.000000. That's a grade A. A grade A. Okay, so it, it so it works for a hundred. So the reason why it's displaying a hundred point zero 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 with six zeros is because we are we are formatting it with the default the default um, uh, kind of a format for a float, and that's going to be a six six decimal places. So they, uh, we will we'll fix this, but let, let's just test some more. I'm going to go ahead and compile it and use other values. I'm going to use the first score is a 45, second score is going to be a 78, and the third score is, um, let's say, 89. And I'm going to hit enter. So it says the average score is 70.666667. That's a great C. Let's say 70. Yeah, this, so 70, between 70 and 79, it's a great C. So, that, so that's also working. All right, so now it looks like the only thing we need to okay let, let's just try for f just for one more one more time okay so i'm going to put um th 30 30 and let's say 40. okay so the average sco average score is you know 33 and that's a great f okay so that's also working so now we need to just fix this so it displays well because you know this is not the best i mean it's 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 a good it's a it's a right value but we just want to format it so it looks good so the reason why we used system dot out is so that we can format it with, with this format in specifier so this average is going to just uh, replace this percentage f for all of these but we need to format it and to do that format it to to let's say zero decimal places because if we so if we have let's say a seventy point three 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 Zero decimal, the decimal places is going to give us 70, and that's what we want. We want, we want it to display like that. So to, to do that, we want to display it to point zero decimal places. And that's, that's how you do it in Java. You, pu you put it in between um, the percentage um, character or symbol and the uh, F, basically, like that. All right, so you put it in between that. So we, we added, again, we are formatting it to point zero decimal places here for all of them and then we'll test one more, one more time to see if it works <coughs> sorry about that okay so I'm going to compile it one more time and run it and I'm going to enter that's a 67 47 68 and it says the average score is 61 that's a great D so let's see 61 between 
60 and 69 is a D. So th uh, that's working. Let's try one more time. 56, 49, and 100. The average score is 68. That's a great D. Okay, so it's working. Um, just for, again, I, I said that th this is just to try to solve the questions and not necessarily to explain all the concepts of Java. It's not like teaching Java. But still, um, whilst we're going through them, I'll, I'll explain some of, I'll explain the, I'll, I'll explain, you know, s you know, the code, but it wouldn't be necessarily every um, section. Uh, like I said, I'm expecting that, you know, you know some of these so that we just focus on trying to solve the question. If it's, if it's um, a teaching Java co a cl um, tutorial or a class, then I'll go through like every single section. But n nonetheless, I'll still I'll still go through everything. I'll still um, go over some of the stuff that I, um, are in the question, just so it becomes clear. So because of that, I'm going to just for people to understand, for those who don't who don't who don't really understand this. So we basically um, converted to to zero decimal places and that's why it's a point zero. If we wanted to have let's say two decimal places, we just do a point two. That that will, that will basically mean convert everything to to two decimal places. So a point two in between the percentage sign and the F. So that's basically all this is going to form your your format um, um, specifier. Okay, so I'm going to Compile it. This is just to show show you know the difference. I'm going to run it and test some random values: 78, 45, and 39. And the average score is 54.00. Because we said 0 0.2, that's two decimal places. We have two decimal places. We have point two decimal places. Zero zero. That's two. But we want a zero, so I'm going to undo everything back compile it and run it and I know we've tested it so many times just test one more time 49 89 100 the average score is 79 that's a great C so yeah it works um, I hope the most important part is I, I, th I think in this program is the if else if structure and basically, we, are, we just it's just eliminating numbers. If it's not less than 60, then it's 60 and above. And if it's 60 and above, and it's also less, it's also within, it's also less than 70, then do this. If it's not less than 70, then that means it's 70 and above. And for all the numbers 70 and above, if it's also less than 80, then the person had a grade of a grade of C, and it falls through just like that. So yeah, let me just take this down. If anyone has any questions please comment in the comment section and again as always I'll do my best to to try to I'll try my best to explain it to whoever whoever it is so yeah thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time with the next program take care and have a good day bye bye